Surprise, welcome, and we're going to be looking at the very weird Japanese 1994 comedy, Getting Any. And this is directed by the very cool Takeshi Beat Katano. It also stars Beat, along with Duncan, Sonomama Higashi, Toki Hidari, and Shouji Kobayashi. And this is very weird, and you gotta love the Japanese for taking weird to the furthest extents. And it's good weird. It's the sort of weird you wanna, you wanna experience. And I honestly don't know how I'm gonna describe this movie without giving away the entire plot. And that's if you can call it a plot. So if you wanna go onto this movie fresh, don't watch this review, but I'm only giving highlights. Basically, this movie is all about getting any, or in other words, getting sex. And it would be too easy for our main character just to pay for it. So he has to go to outlandish extents to get some. And whether or not he gets it, you'll have to find out. But this is a very strange, very funny, very Japanese movie. So without further ado, let's check it out. Getting Any follows Aseo, a 35-year-old inexperienced man with the ladies, who lives at home with his grandfather, and all he wants is to have sex. He believes having a car will get him laid, so he buys one and tries to pick up the ladies in a very creepy manner. <laughs> That shtick doesn't work, so he thinks, maybe, lots of money will get him laid. So he attempts to rob a bank. No luck. Maybe if he became an actor, that'll get him laid. And in one of the most hilarious scenes, he auditions for an acting job and lands it by doing this. What do you know? It doesn't work out. What if he paid for a seat on a private plane? You know it gets saucy up there. Ooh. Wrong kind of saucy. Mambo! 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 Ooh. Then he becomes a hitman for the Yakuza. Just because it happens. I mean, it doesn't aid his getting laid vendetta. But what the heck? This movie's already weird enough. And yeah, that's an understatement. What if he could become invisible to become a peeping Tom in a lady's bathhouse? And what luck, as Seo meets a scientist played by Beat Takeshi who can transform him into an invisible man. And he does, and as Seo goes on a peeping Tom escapade. However, Takeshi wants to use him to become famous, and they manage to capture Aseo, Ghostbusters style. But Aseo becomes visible again, so Beat tries to turn him back to invisible, but this time a fly gets involved and turns him into a fly man. Yeah, we're going there. Aseo escapes and goes on a Godzilla-like spree of destruction until the Japanese government devises a means to lure and destroy him by collecting all the poo in the country into one stadium and await his arrival. As you can see, this movie is weird, but good weird. It's very entertaining, and it pays homage to a lot of Japanese and Hollywood films, as you should have seen. I mean, it pays homage to Ghostbusters, Godzilla, Zatoichi, The Invisible Man, The Fly, and there's plenty of others in there. And I feel sorry for the poor soul that picks up this DVD at the DVD store, because, I mean, the front cover looks like a typical Yakuza film. I mean, this is... Uh, still from the Yakuza part of the movie. So I feel sorry for the poor soul that picks us up thinking This is gonna be 
a heavy movie and then is met by a scene like this. Kageru yo ya! Inu ikimasu! Nigoto! Inu shishi ikimasu! Oi wa! Kuma ikimasu! Kumatte kumatta! Ega ene se gora o. Kuma mo inu shishi mo wakare hene ka otara. Sage, 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 sage. Sage. And if you're thinking, how could anyone make that mistake? I'm sure someone's made that mistake because Beat Takeshi to the international audience in the past 20 years is pretty much known for his very slow moving, violent Yakuza films. But his roots have always been in comedy, going as far back to his very famous show, Takeshi's Castle. Same dude. And this guy is very talented with everything he puts his hands on. But this movie was met with little fanfare, so I don't think many people know about it. And you know what? No more. This is one of the weirdest and funniest Japanese comedy movies out there, hands down. It's so absurd, it's genius. And if you're up for the weird and you can find it, embrace it. It definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And guys, let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below. And if you can tell me about a Japanese movie that you think's weirder than this, but this is definitely in the top five weirdest Japanese movies I think out there. Guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. I'm Paddy McManus, and press that subscribe button below to support me.